Okay, now you know how to calculate the pH of a strong monoprotic acid. Now it's time to do the same thing for a base. See, here's the deal. We can also calculate something called pOH for a base, but since we're not going to be doing that in this course, we're going to be sticking to pH. When we're dealing with bases, we know the concentration of hydroxide. We don't know the concentration of hydronium, which is what we really need to find pH. So, using the KEQ expression, knowing KEQ and knowing the OH minus concentration, find H3O plus and then you can take the negative log of it. So, H3O plus is equal to KW divided by OH, right? Divide both sides by OH and then you take the negative log of it. So for a shortcut, you take 10 to the negative 14th divided by the base concentration and then that's the number you take the negative log of. Now I have to stress this, this is only for bases that ionize 100% that have 1 OH. We're talking about alkali metal hydroxide, sodium hydroxide, lithium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide. You can't do this for any other kind of base, it's beyond the scope of this course. So you take the negative log of Kw divided by OH minus and that will give you the pH. So the pH of a 0.1 molar NaOH solution would be the negative log of, you take 1 times 10 to the negative 14 divided by the molarity which is 0 0.10 and this will give you a pH of 13, two sig figs. To find the pH of a 0 0.0010 molar NaOH solution, you take the negative log of 1 times 10 to the negative 14 divided by the base concentration, and that gives you, have you finished trying to calculate it yet? 11. For the last one, we take the negative log of the base concentration, 1 times 10 to the negative 14 over 2.0. Pop this in your calculator and see what you get. Bet I beat you. You get a pH of 14.3. But because we only have two sig figs here, that pH is 14. So you're going to round off pH the same way you'd round anything else off. Which is why the more sig figs you have in your concentration, the more precise your pH values are going to be when you calculate them. And that's how to calculate the pH of a strong base with one hydroxide in its formula.